Amadeus, two centuries ago. Little Amadeus, the star of Rococo, master of harmonies, beautiful melodies, operas and symphonies, each one a masterpiece. However, there's an envious rival trying to put traps in your way. But he'll always end up failing whenever you begin to play. And when we hear your magic music, all sorrows fly away. Little Amadeus, your music and your sound. Little Amadeus, they make the world go round. No matter what will be with your fantasy, you'll make it finally, cause music is the key. Never kiss an empress. We've been here in Vienna for two weeks already. I wonder when we will receive an invitation from the empress to play at the court. But, Papa, the empress loves our music. She already heard us playing in the harbor. I'm sure she'll call for us soon. One moment, please, Herr Mozart. What can I do for you, landlord? Well, um... The second week's over. It's time to pay for your accommodation, sir. Well, mm, I'm afraid it will take me a few days to pay you. Yes, yes. Everybody will only be able to pay in a few days. I will have starved to death by then. But we have good references from the Imperial Court. I'll be playing there. For the Empress? Playing music? I see. But Amadeus, we don't have an invitation. <laughs> anyway, sir, if you haven't paid by 12 o'clock midday, I will have to ask you to leave my house. I'm very sorry about this, sir. Very How sorry. How am I supposed to get the money in just three hours? Come, come, Pearl. There's nothing to interest us here. I'd better go and ask a court about the audition. You go upstairs to your mother, Amadeus. Good luck, Papa. Didn't I tell you? They are cheats who never pay their bills. The Empress will never lay ice on them, ever. But what if they... What a recommendation that would be. I could change the name of this place from the White Ox into the Imperial Ox. <laughs> what a stupid man. Or maybe the Imperial Empress. <laughs> Good day, Mr. Postmaster. Head I... Postmaster. Mr. Head Post... Um, my name is Leopold Mozart. I'm trying to trace the whereabouts of a letter of recommendation for the Empress. What do you think? Hundreds of letters of recommendation, petitions and inquiries are delivered here every week. Do you think they'll answer right away? Of course not. I just thought... Have patience, sir. Sooner or later you'll get an answer. Have a nice day. There you are, you oh-so-important letter of recommendation. Well done, my friend. You've done your Empress a good turn with this. I just hope so. I told you, they are a lot of crafty swindlers. They sneak into the court and pass themselves off as musicians. The little boy plays some simple tunes on the piano while everybody is listening. The others steal everything that's not screwed to the floor. I should have arrested the man right away. Oh, what a day. Nano, Amadeus. Oh my goodness, where are you going? Oh, Papa. Oh, Leopold, I'm so glad you're back. Does it mean the landlord has really thrown us out? Papa, do you remember my friends here? Yes, of course I do. You were playing music with them on the streets the other day. That's right, Tom and Jamie. They're just the people we need now. You can stay at our place overnight. That's very friendly of you. I don't know how. We still owe your family a favor. Thank you. That's really nice. Oh, Leopold. Don't worry, Anna Maria. We will get through this somehow. Have a 
a good journey home. It seems it will become a great day for us after all. <laughs> Now, start reading the letter from the Archbishop. <clears throat> My dear, highly esteemed... Leave out all the tittle-tattle. <sighs> well, um... Ah, here. I just wanted to ask you if the Mozart family, which I recommended to you as a highly talented group of musicians, have already performed for you. Just and a if minute. They have... The Mozarts? Yes, oh my goodness. They should have got in touch with us long ago. Mr. Secretary. Your Excellency? Secretary, uh, go and get the head postmaster right away. Right away, certainly. That's our place, over there, down the stairs. Hello, Grandma. Do you remember our friend, Amadeus? Of course I do. Oh, my goodness. Quick, hurry, do come. Oh, Pompro, everybody is so sad. I think you and I should do something about it. Come on. I'm a Deus. Where are you going? I'll tell you later. I'm a Deus. Please don't do anything stupid. Hey, Pongo, be careful. Hey, Pongo. Two ideas. I'd better forget the first one. Nobody needs street musicians in this weather. So here's the second idea. We must meet the Empress right away. Your Majesty. Haven't you received a letter of recommendation about the Mozart family? Uh, yes, I have, uh, uh, but... But what? I'm extremely sorry, but I've been told the Mozart family were a bunch of uh, uh, swindlers. I see swindlers. The Mozarts? Secretarius, are you completely yes, I, uh, out of your mind? Uh, of course not, no. It was all a terrible mistake, Your Majesty. You know what this means for you. Yes, I know. Standing guard in Schoenbrunn. Thank you for letting us stay overnight. You're welcome. This way we have two more strong arms to help Tom with the cold. <laughs> <laughs> now, now, please tell your father and Tom that I have some hot tea ready. Fine. That's just what they need right now. Papa, tea is ready. invite us. What do you propose, Pumpro? Good idea. Halt! Who goes there? Amadeus Mozart. Password? The password is raindrops. That's today's password. You're wrong. Today's password is Viennese melange. Hmm. Oh, raindrops is for tomorrow. He already knows the password for tomorrow. And where do you want to go? To the Empress, of course. But she's not in. I'm afraid the Imperial coach is already on its way to the Opera House. The Opera House? Thanks! If this is true, I'll tell you the password for the day after tomorrow, tomorrow! That would be nice. Pumper. Be a good dog and wait for me here. I won't be long. Hey, just a minute. Who are you? Amadeus Mozart. Temporary help. Who's temporary help? Second violin. Second violin? A young whippersnapper like you? Don't insult me, please. Not everybody can be as big as you are. But anybody can say he's a substitute. He's huh? a Hungarian too. My homeland. Beautiful. Oh, I think I should travel to Budapest once in a while. <gasps> hurry, hurry. Oh, today of all days, the Imperial family will be here. That means I'm on the right track. Mm. Quick, quick. 
careful with the decoration. Ah, oh, I'm a nervous wreck. The curtain! The curtain! Raise the curtain! Dear. Have you heard of this musical Wunderkind who's been in Vienna for some days? What do you mean, Wunderkind? A boy. He can play the piano like an angel. Mother's thinking of inviting him to Sean Prune for a performance. And if the boy is good, he will be swamped with invitations and money. Mother has always been keen on new talents. Where is she, by the way? Home in the palace, busy as usual. And then all that raining, and then the music. <laughs> oh, dear, the Empress isn't here. What shall I do now? What now? Now we have all the time in the world. The Mozarts are on their way back to Salzburg. And after a substantial <laughs> breakfast tomorrow morning, we shall meet the Empress. These clothes are of no use now. They're all wet. Right. Papa! Amadeus! It was so fantastic! The music! And the costumes, and I was backstage, <laughs> and Eurydice sang so wonderfully, and in the second act... Amadeus, where have you been? At the opera, of course. At, At the, the opera? opera? Yes, but unfortunately the Empress wasn't there. But her sons were. And do you know what they were saying? Mm -hmm. They said the Empress is going to invite a great piano player to the castle. I'd like to hear this man. Oh, Amadeus, I'm absolutely sure they meant you. Me? <sighs> no, it's too late for that now. But, Papa, now that we're invited... It hasn't happened yet, Amadeus, and we don't have enough money to wait until then. And take a look at our clothes. We can't meet the Empress wearing these rags. But... Stop it! We will all travel back to Salzburg tomorrow morning. Hmm. <laughs> Hurry up. I have to go. I love these solid meals. <laughs> But it's only half cooked. Ugh. Better half cooked than nothing at all. Will you stop complaining? Let's drink a toast. The Mozarts are out of the way. All I have to do now is explain to the Archbishop who the true artist from Salzburg is. It is... Mozart. <gasps> Where are the Mozarts? Landlord, Her Imperial Excellency Empress Maria Theresa is pleased to invite the Mozart family to Schönbrunn Castle. The family will be picked up tomorrow at three o'clock. Oh, there's only one thing I can do. What a fool I am! I kicked him out! I knew something like this would happen! Oh, I wish I had... Excuse me, sir. What do you want? Herr Mozart asked me to tell you that he will pay his bill right after he gets back to Salzburg. Uh, what? Salzburg? He's leaving Vienna? Where can I find him? The Mozarts are already on their way to Salzburg. Oh, no! Wait a moment! This is the last time I'm falling for your schemes. I know where the Mozarts are right now. Uh, come with me. We'll take the coach. I don't believe it. Hurry up. Luckily, we have plan B. And this is our man, Yes, uncle? it cost me a lot of money to convince him. Plan B, as in bribery. And he really won't let the Mozarts in? Exactly. And we'll be sitting here in the front row, watching everything. Changing of the guard. What? The changing of the guard? 
Sloth is being replaced. It was all in vain. Oh, Uncle, not again. We need to come up with something else, and quickly. Hey, wait. Can you imagine standing guard for a while? What? Ah, <laughs> I understand. to hear about it. There! There they are! Hello, Ta! Hello! Wait! <coughs> you are invited oh. by the Empress! <laughs> you look a little strange somehow, Uncle. It looks a little strange, Papa. And you, my boy, look even stranger. Thank you so much for the clothes. Much as I would like to, dear landlord, but I can't appear like this at court. Well, uh, um, the coach is here, Herr Mozart. So we have to go there as we are. May I ask you a little favor, my boy? I wonder if you could bring me a little souvenir from Schönbrunn Castle. You? But a while ago, you kicked us out. Yes, yes, I know, and I'm very sorry about that. But you will find me very grateful. What does that mean? Well, maybe your debts won't be debts anymore, if you know what I mean. Good. Listen, everybody. Everybody? The Imperial coaches will be arriving here soon. They're carrying some musicians to the Empress. Just let them pass. Just let them pass, yes, sir. Musicians? Just let them pass? <gasps> let them pass? Pass, 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 pass. What? Hey, stop! Stop immediately! Come back! <laughs> what are you doing there? How dare you try to stop an Imperial coach? Hmm? Oh, I could swear that was Davilius! That's impossible, son. By the way, it's Mr. De Villiers, Amadeus. One, two, 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 one, two. Oh, Papa, look at the piano, may I? Are you out of your mind, son? We must be introduced to the Imperial family first. The Mozart family! Well, it's nice to see you again. You've already become the talk of the town here in Vienna. May I please? Mm -hmm. Come on, Anna! <laughs> One, two, one, two, one, two, two. Hmm? Why, look at that. I call that divine luck. Ugh, all that marching, I feel seasick. Hmm? <laughs> 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 Dear friends, I would like to propose an interesting experiment. If this boy really is the genius people make him out to be, we should let him play the piano blindfolded. Ooh, I'm frightened in the dark. All right, go ahead then. And now, start playing, young man. <laughs> what 
a little rascal. Now I understand why he's become the talk of the town. <laughs> My dear child, the law doesn't permit girls to play music in public, but here we are entre nous, so to speak. Is this the imperial reward? If Nanarl gets a kiss, then I want one too. <laughs> My dearest, you've never had such an admirer before. <laughs> Unbelievable! How dare he? Who does he think he is? The Empress hiding behind ice music! Just a moment. I want to hear what this man has to say. Now speak, and do tell us what's on your mind. Stealing kisses? You can't just kiss an Empress. I... 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 I'm sorry, I forgot myself. My name is Lorenzo Revilius. I am the private secretary of the Archbishop of Salzburg. And, and uh, I know this man. <laughs> I am. I am. <laughs> I am, know this man too, and he's a friend of our family. Isn't that so, Mr. Devilius? You are a friend. Mm -hmm. He works too much. He's often terribly nervous. If I was secretary to the Archbishop, I would be too. <laughs> <laughs> well, then we should do something to calm him down. Guards, take care of him. You know what I mean. And now, ladies and gentlemen, may I ask everybody to a petit buffet? <laughs> Help yourselves now, everyone. I'd like to give this young gentleman over there a present. Please bring me a new napkin. That's really nice of you. This will help. Help with what? That's a long story. Maybe I'll tell you later. Thank you very much. You are a really nice princess. Thank you. <laughs> To attention! You two get a move on. Don't jerk about so much, please. Oh, that nasty brat. Got me into a real fix. Me, a friend of the family. <laughs> uh, you brought the trouble on yourself. You can call yourself lucky. They wanted to humiliate me, but just you wait. I'll get even with him somehow. <laughs> Oh, and by the way, aren't you missing anyone? Oh, yes? Oh, dear. Mario, I have forgotten him. Where is my nephew? I'm sure he'll be eating something somewhere. Come on, oh, Hey, where did you put the pork rind? The... <laughs> oh, the Mozart family! Landlord? I want to talk with you about the bill. No more debts. You're my guests. My personal guests. Well, who could say no to that? And did you bring something with you? Just a little something. Oh, 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 oh did you now? Now I can prove to everybody that guests of the Empress have stayed here. Oh, bless you, my boy. What can I say? Short reckonings make long friends. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to Monty's world. He is smart and evil. Welcome to Monty's world. He is small, but he will show you all how he stands tall. There's much to discover with Monty. Hello, children. That's how big cities look today from a distance. But there were not such high houses in the old days, and there were not so many of them. In Amadeus' times, the cities looked more like that from afar. Here we have Vienna, for example, the capital city of Austria. In those days, it was one of Europe's most important cities. Many famous people came to visit the Empress in her castle. But there were also quarters for the ordinary people. Most of all, I liked the Vienna of that time by night. 
and this church here is very famous. It's called the Stephansdom, and you can still find it. That was it for today. Bye, says Monty. There is more music and fun with little Amadeus and his friends on our website, little-amadeus.com. Amadeus, two centuries ago, little Amadeus, the star of Rococo, master of harmonies, beautiful melodies, operas and symphonies, each one a masterpiece. However, there's an envious rival trying to put traps in your way, but he'll always end up failing whenever you begin to play. And when we hear your magic music, all sorrows fly away. Little Amadeus, your music and your sound. Little Amadeus, they make the world go round. No matter what will be with your fantasy, you'll make it finally, cause music is the key.